What is up everyone, Atron here with another Chivalry 2 video, and in this video I'm going to be covering patch 2.1.0, which is a new patch just released today on August 10th, uh, 2021. So in this patch, uh, I brought a new mode out, which is Arena, which is what you're going to be seeing here. And what Arena is, is a 3v3 mode where the first team to reach 5 wins, uh, wins the match. And uh, the way you win is just by eliminating the other team. And you can pretty much pick uh, any class that you want, or any and any subclass as well. So, like as you can see, there's an archer in this in this game. Um, seeing a crossbowman as well. I don't know if it, how great of a strategy it feels like uh, to to be picking those classes in this. Um, I think it's probably better to pick uh, melee, but perhaps you can uh, make it work if you're if you're doing really good damage. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think this mode is really fun. I could definitely see this mode being the future of if there or if there is like a competitive future, uh, you know, in Chivalry 2, that uh, this mode could really uh, take off. Uh, just a just a great way to get into like a game with a couple friends and then and just to compete and play together. Um, a couple of uh, couple of the matches I played in like this one right here they the uh, <clears throat> opposing team that wanted to just mainly do duels so I mean that's just kind of up to you like and you saw in the last couple clips they uh, was pretty much just you know a team up on anybody that you could but um, yeah I mean that's just gonna be your choice you know there's I mean some I don't know some people can be kind of a uh, anal about it and just that they want to be fighting 1v1 but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of other people that are just like, yeah, well, we're going to just attack, you know, uh, you with multiple people at the same time. So, I mean, I think that's more, you know, realistic. You know, if you get the uh, 2v1s and stuff like that, I mean, well, why wouldn't you if you want to win? But, yeah, I mean, it's up to you how you want to how you want to play that. Uh, this this actually, this these guys were actually pretty good. Um, didn't do very well. Uh, one thing I didn't like about this mode is that the match would start sometimes and we would only have two players so actually that was actually one of the reasons why we did duels in this one like where they were i guess you could say kind enough to do that but um yeah it's kind of it's kind of irritating uh, to play man down in the in this arena mode but overall a pretty good mode i think it's a, i think it's pretty fun i'll probably be uh, spending most of my time playing like in this kind of a mode especially with uh, you know my my friends and things like that I think it's just a uh, pretty enjoyable and it feels relatively competitive but uh yeah not much else to be said about it pretty much you just play like the maps that are where you have the free-for-alls and uh where um like the big team battle kind of maps so this is the new map which is courtyard and then yeah uh we I put and then those tournament grounds and then then you have the uh you know the arena and all and all those other maps that uh you know, are in, are in arena. So, but moving on from that, um, this is just a little bit more of a look at courtyard because you're a little limited in the arena mode for courtyard. Uh, when you start out, you know, it's free for all, obviously a uh, Mason versus Agatha, which is pretty oh, interesting. Shit. You have, you start out as a villager and sometimes you get a weapon, sometimes you don't. In this case, I didn't. So, you know, I'm just punching people down. Uh, this guy got a dagger which is a little unfair, but, you know, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. Once you die, you come back with your loadout, whatever, whatever loadout you want. So, kinda cool. yeah, I mean, like, I'm in this case, I was running the Executioner's Axe. Uh, you know, up to you. Whatever you want to, you know, run in these kinds of modes. But uh, this map is actually, it's actually pretty fun. I'm, uh, it feels, it feels pretty good. Um, a lot of different places to, to fight, like up on the balconies and then in the tunnels and things like that, or just in the middle of the courtyard, like right here. Uh, it's just a, it's a nice, uh, a nice bit of scenery for the, uh, for the eyes, I feel. But, um, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty enjoyable overall. The only thing that I noticed, and a couple of the people uh, agreed with me in a couple of the games that I was playing, like I, I asked in uh, all chat if anybody else was getting like FPS drops, um, I felt like my FPS was kind of tanking a little bit. Um, not terribly, but it was enough to notice it where I wasn't getting like 
you know, like 144 frames or anything like that, which is the uh, mon kind of monitor that I use, a 144 hertz monitor. I could just tell that it just didn't look as smooth as it could have. But uh, I don't know if it's the map or if it's just the update in general. But uh, either way, and you know, it's, it's still it's still playable. It's just you know, not as uh, doesn't look as crisp. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, the new uh, free for all map, and then obviously you can play it in arena courtyards uh, is, is pretty cool. I like it. And then we're gonna move on to the new map for the big team battle, and I actually really enjoy. Uh, you know this map, which is the uh, the desecration of Gallon Court, and uh, I mean I, I definitely prefer to play on Mason, uh, as you so I swapped to Mason there, but um, you know I'm just going to go over like the different objectives that you guys are going to have to accomplish when you're playing. So when you start out, you know you're rushing the uh, Agatha team, and the first objective is just going to be to uh, capture the fortifications. So uh, in, order, in order to do that, you're going to have to, you know, get through the uh, Agatha team here. here and then obviously, like, I'm, I'm going to go over the Mason side, and then, you know, the flip side of it would just be defending all of the uh, objectives that, you know, uh, Mason's going to be attacking, but we'll just look at it from the Mason point of view. Anyway, uh, first thing, basically, you just have to, you know, move the, uh, uh, the ramps up, and then once the uh, ramps are, are moved up, you can start assaulting the... Uh, the fortress in general and you can just run up the uh, the wooden ramps that you have there and then there's two points to uh to capture two flags uh, that you can capture uh, it doesn't it doesn't it seems like you can just capture one and it'll complete the objective so you can go with either side um yeah there's one on the right and there's one on the left and yeah, I'm pretty pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The next objective is just going to be to uh, disable the ships, and you basically just make your way over from where the flags were, and uh, you got to plant the bombs on uh, on both ships. So uh, you can get one, and then it'll give you 50%, and then then you got to get the other. But uh, but just like this area in general is uh, was just really enjoyable to to play and just to fight in because there's just so many uh, so many ways to get onto the ships. And just like so many different uh, styles of fights that you know you kind of take that you wouldn't uh, you know normally I don't know like you just don't, this doesn't really feel like you have these kinds of uh, kinds of looks when you're playing uh, in some of the other maps but but yeah I mean these uh, you know just fighting on these ships in general like felt really really nice and uh, just enjoyable overall but um, yeah you know as I as I said. Uh, you know, once so uh, once one blows, then yeah. I mean, typically it seems like you pretty much just go for that, that closer one and then go for the uh, the next one just because it's closer to you, so it's a little easier to take over. But I mean, like, and then as you can see, like just going through like that, going up that like plank there and then into this cabin. That's pretty nice. I also found like a nice little way to plant the bomb here. Um, it's kind of funny, just getting on top of the, the crates and <laughs> this guy's swinging at me and he can hit me. <laughs> And I actually got the plan off. Um, I don't think it's stuck, but in this uh, in this instance, but it's just yeah, it's, it was pretty funny. Anyway, um, so once the uh, bombs are planted there, next thing is going to be uh, you got to place the explosives at the uh, at this door that's up here. So you just basically just run a barrel in, and uh, you definitely can't throw it, but like that, but you just basically just have to pick it up and up, run over it, and then it'll place it automatically. And then uh, once you, once there's enough uh, barrels there, then it'll just blow, and uh, and the gate will open up. But yeah, I mean, a, a very similar to courtyard in terms of the aesthetics, and it just looks pretty nice. Uh, you got to blow through two of the gates, and then once the once the uh, gates are blown up, then uh, you're gonna move on to uh, desecrating the relics. And the relics are, are in the middle of uh, this courtyard up here. And it's basically just a bunch of statues, and you just attack them. It's pretty, uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, the, uh, destroying the, um, the mausoleum looks pretty nice. It has a nice little effect where it just collapses when, uh, when the last, when the last uh, uh, relic falls. So that looks pretty cool. I think they did a pretty nice job with that. And... Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's pretty much just, you know, all out, all out warfare. 
uh, going on just to get these things in. I found like a nice way is just to, you know, do the uh, horizontal slashes so that you can, you know, hit the relics and the players at the same time, potentially. Um, just got to kill two birds with, with one stone there. But anyway, once you, uh, once you just yeah, desecrate the relics, the next thing is going to be uh, assaulting the church. And basically, uh, you just got to knock the get, knock the front door down. Um, yeah, just basically just to, just attack it and you know get through it. Uh, I've had some trouble getting through here, so I feel like this is a pretty good defensive position for Agatha. I think I feel like this is one of the harder things to to get through. Once you get inside, it's a uh, you know, it's kind of chaos. A lot of uh, villagers and then. You know the Agatha soldiers as well, um, and uh, I and I believe the uh, players and the players that respawn as the uh, as the villagers with that life, and then they come back as uh, you know they kind of interchange. Um, and they, but they but they keep their weapons, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, and then the last thing, just going to be to desecrate Phaedrid's tomb, and it's just in the uh, back in the middle here. And then uh, you know once you've done enough damage to it, then you win if you're Mason or and then again like I said in the beginning I was covering the attacking side uh, you know if you're Agatha obviously you want to defend all those objectives but that's pretty much gonna do it for this video everyone so thank you guys for watching hopefully you had something to gain from watching it and you know it's uh, the, this these changes and just the new mode arena uh, mode as well as like the the new maps uh, nice little uh, refreshment for the game uh, you know, I definitely recommend checking them out if you haven't already, uh, because I feel like they've added some nice, uh, nice enjoyability to the game. Uh, you know, that it already had, but I feel like it's just a nice, refreshing look to the game. Oh! But, uh, the but anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in more Chivalry 2 content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I will be posting more Chivalry 2 content. But that's gonna do it. So have a good one, everyone.